welcome to another edition of Carbs on Reckless Eating. The only show where I sit in a car and BS while consuming carbs. Matt Zion here for day two of our Taco Bell journey. Go ahead and subscribe to our gaming channel, Zion Mainframe Gaming, by clicking the annotation right there or going down in the description for the link. It's our Let's Play channel combined with our personalities. There's a mailbox in front of me. Flowers are yellow. So... Taco Bell used to have, it was like six months ago, they had their little, uh, their like, it was like chicken, or you could get the, the meat stack, and it was like on flatbread, they'd stuff cheese and meat in there. This is the Chipotle chicken steak stack thing. I don't know, was it called stack? It might not be a stack. I don't remember, but the they're really good. They're really, really good. This does not look like what I remember. It's kind of folded up. Wow, they did. They stacked the hell out of this thing, though. Ooh, this looks so good. Usually not uh, huge on flatbread, but there, I like Taco Bell's flatbread a lot. That's what it looks like. Wow, that's a great value. I think it's like five bucks, something like that. Maybe even like four, but five with a combo. Uh, whatever it is, though, it's worth the price. This one, I think it has like a Chipotle sauce, and we've got chicken and cheese. Very simple, but I think this is going to be delicious. My mouth is watering. Let's do it. Not as flavorful as I was expecting, honestly. Like I would lie to you usually. <laughs> it's true. It bugs me when people say honestly. It's like, what, so you're normally not honest with me? The Chipotle, oh God, I spit. <laughs> the Chipotle sauce, it's not as in your face as I was thinking. It does have a nice burn. I'm getting a little heat down here. Flavor wise though, it's kind of dull. It kind of has like the same texture as mayonnaise. I don't know, it's, it's, uh, it's crack a lacking a little bit, just a little. I don't know why. That, that's really what's holding it back. Cheese is excellent. They did stack it like crazy with a bunch of chicken. It's a good value. It's good size. But man, the, the sauce just needs to be cranked up just a, like a decent amount. I'm going to get one more bite. Maybe there's a little more sauce in this spot. It is good. But I, I honestly, I think I'd rather just go with the uh, regular chicken version or the, uh, I think it's carne asada version or steak version. Can't remember. Not bad. It's act, I mean, it's actually well above average. This is good. I would eat the entire thing for lunch. It's just, it's missing. It's missing that, that X factor, that intangible. Just nice heat, by the way. I mean, the heat is good. It's just, I don't know. There's something not as great about it. I would give this a solid four. I think it's worth getting. I think it's good. But the other two variants are really good. They're fives. Just delicious. This is the lackluster one of the three. It's just, it's really solid, but... I don't know what's going on with it. There's just I need a little more flavor out of this thing. But there you go, guys. What are your thoughts on this product? Let me know in the comments down below. And out of the three, which is your favorite that you get on a regular basis? Or even just every once in a while. I guess you wouldn't get this on a regular basis. If you did, you'd probably be like overweight like I am. So that's that. Thank you for joining me. As always, we'll see you on the next one.